Hey guys, welcome back to another today's video. And before I begin with this tip, with this new video, um, you guys, as you may remember from my previous episode, episode one, episode seven, uh, part one of talking about the electoral college. And in that, in that video, you may know I was listing all my reasoning so why the electoral college should be preserved and protected. Uh, and as you may know in the video, I linked to you guys uh, from the description of the of, of the of the description of the video and in the Scott discussion. I linked, I, I sent the link to all of you guys to participate in this Google form and only uh, three people participate in this Google form. Uh, just only, only three, me and then two other uh, of my viewers uh, participated. And um, I want, I, I kind of want more people to actually participate before I start, before I make this video, because I, this, I, I just need a little, just a little more of a larger sample size. Uh, so if you guys have any family members, friends, uh who who actually want to who if you guys have any family members friends or or people you know on, on the internet or like like your youtube creators like your favorite creators on youtube uh link uh promote promote my google form to, to, to them uh so so you can so they can actually participate participate in google form because like what i said before uh uh i will be using all these results for my next video for the next video of my fixing American democracy, where we, where these results will help me better explain how my modernized proportional electoral college system will all work, because it's not just it's not it's not simple. It's going to be a little complex, and a little complex of how it's all going to work. So these results are going to help me uh, uh, help me help me explain to you guys how my how this new electoral college system will all work to, and how it's going to be fair for all parties and candidates so if you if you guys already voted uh like the two two of my viewers that have already uh voted in this poll which i which i see right now is uh i also voted so only me and two of my viewers voted for Tulsi Gabbard as their first choice almost in all states and it's kind of unrealistic in some ways but i respect to them and, and me as well. Like, I kept my promise as well, just like all of you guys, that I've only voted once. Uh, just tell them to all vote once. Like, if you have family members, friends, anyone uh, that you know, just just uh, uh, let let them know about my channel and let them actually know that I'm running out doing a Google form. Let them let them have a, give them a voice and participate in this Google form. Because, like I said before, and and, and in my previous video. Um, I want you guys to have fun with this. I want you guys to actually feel like you're actually participating in the movement to fixing American democracy for generations, and I mean generations to come. So if you have anyone that you know, let them participate because everyone can be agents of change that will reimagine the promise of America for generations to come. So I will once again, before I start the video again, I'm going to repeat this again. Um, uh, I, I will link this Google form in the description and the comment section of this video, and so so you guys can participate. So you guys can uh, participate in the Google form because I'm not gonna. I, I want more respondents. I want more of a larger sample size to actually uh, to use these results uh, up on my next uh, fixing American democracy episode, episode eight or part two of reforming, SAS, modernizing the electoral college. So, and as you may know, I'm going to go into like this again. Uh, you just it, it's it adopts more of a ranking, more of a preferential voting type of thing. It's not just voting for one candidate. So you rank your favorite candidate number one, and that will be your first choice candidate, like this. Uh, your second choice, your third choice, and and your fourth choice, and your fifth choice. Um, I, and you want to and you and you want to. Uh, um, yeah, you and you do it in in, in all in all the questions with pretty much all these states, um, and and uh, you just you just answer all of them. So participate. Get more. Give give your friends. Get, get all of your friends. Get all your family members. Get all of your media. Uh, the people you know on YouTube. Your favorite creators. Let and tell them about my Google form so they can participate in them. So I can so we can increase the turnout in this form to make it more representative and more realistic. So get everyone that you know and let them participate because real change because with all of us to reimagine the promise of America for generations to come, and um, and let's let's start and and now let's start into into this video um, of my my next video on 
of breaking up the two-party duopoly. And, um, and as you may know from the title of this video, it's about, a, it's about Stacey Pressman, the Libertarian nominee, running for the 2021 New York City mayor election. She's running for, uh, she's running for mayor of New York City as the, as the nominee of the, of the Libertarian Party. Um, and as you may know, um, uh, New York City also adopted, just like Maine and just like Alaska, they also adopted ranked choice voting instead of runoff voting. Coincidentally, that's what you guys that's what you guys are doing in my Google form. You guys are ranking the, 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 the num you're ranking the candidates in order of preference. You're ranking your your favorite candidate as number one, your second choice, your second favorite candidate as number two, your third choice candidate as number three, your fourth choice candidate as number three, and uh, your fourth choice candidate number four. Sorry about that again. Uh, and then your least favorite candidate at, at the bottom of your ranking. Ranking, and just like and just like that, New Yorkers, if you if you guys live in New York City, um, then they 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 also going to rank the, the the candidates in order of preference. So you guys have a real shot at electing a third party candidate in, in, on November second, twenty twenty one. And you never know, you guys might be interested in electing Stacey Pressman, the Libertarian nominee, at, at, as your next mayor of New York City. So, uh, and as you may know, uh, she does have a Twitter. And but before, uh, let me see. Uh, she she does have a Twitter. Uh, she has a camp. Her, she has a uh, campaign website. Uh, and uh, let me see. Uh, let me let me see if they. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, and she does have a Twitter, like I like I said before. Um, and 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 yes, she is following me because uh, once again, I I I did some soul searching, and once I started promoting her on Twitter and retweeting a lot of her tweets, I see she she actually followed me on Twitter, and because I'm all about giving a voice to. Many, many third party candidates is are running for libertarian, independent, Green Party constitution because all of them have great ideas just like the Republicans. And that's why I'm doing this series so you guys can be promoting other third party candidates from various and vast, various different parties that have different platforms that have different ideas on how to solve the major issues of our country's time, of, this, of our state's time, and even of, of our city's time. City, whatever uh, community, the community that you live in, like New York City, for instance, that Stacey Pressman is leave, uh, running in. I'm all about giving a voice to these candidates, third party independent candidates, because they have just have, they just have, they also have great ideas, just like the Republicans and Democrats, on how we should live our lives, on how government should be, should play a role in society. So uh, like I said before, Stacey uh, Pressman, running for mayor of New York City as a nominee of the Libertarian Party, and so let's actually go into her campaign website. And the first thing I'm going to uh, start off with, uh, just like Brad Foreman and Princess Blandy, that are both running for Virginia, Brad Foreman running as an independent candidate, and uh, Princess Blandy running as the as the nominee of the newly formed Liberation Party. Um, she also has petitions. Uh, she, I guess, she's petitioning to be on the ballot uh, in New York City. So if you guys see her locally. Uh, trying to collect petitions, or I think you can print out the petitions actually, um, but I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll link the campaign, her campaign website, and her Twitter in the description below, and even and even in the comment section of this video, um, uh, so you guys can check her out more. And if if you guys live in New York City, um, give her a shot at being on the ballot in everywhere in New York City. Give her a shot of participating in the debates. Let more and more people, let all voters know about her because you, they might not, the other voter next to your home, uh, next to, uh, the, or, or the other business, they might not want to vote for a Republican or a Democrat candidate. They might want to vote for another third party candidate. They might want to vote third party. Give those voters a choice. Let them participate as well. If they like Stacey Pressman, Pressman, I'm sorry about that. Um, say if they like Stacey Pressman as a candidate and they want to see her elected, give them a voice. Sign the petition, even though if you're voting, uh, voting for or supporting a different candidate, give her, give Stacey Pressman a voice because she had, she just has great ideas as someone like Andrew Yang, someone like the Republican candidate. Give Stacey Pressman, the Libertarian candidate that's running for mayor of New York City, give her a real choice 
and governance. Give her a shot, just like how we give the Republican and Democrat candidates a shot. Because you're the city that never sleeps. You're the Gotham. You're the Big Apple, New York City. Show us how much you, how much of a Big Apple you are. Show us how much change that you can make to your city for the better. Show us that a third party can win, can pull off a major upset against a duopoly in this country and in this state. Give them a real shot at governance, like what you do with Republicans and Democrats. Because you know what? Everyone matters. All people matter. Every single kid, everyone that's running for office from Libertarian, from Green, from Constitution, and from all parties matter because everyone has great ideas on how we can solve the major problems of our time. And um, so if you see her locally, and, and just say hi to her and, uh, um, and, and, I, and uh, volunteer on her campaign if you're interested in uh, supporting her as a candidate and getting more people to vote for her. Volunteer for a campaign, and um, once again, if you don't like, might not like her, um, just still sign the petition to give more of your residents in New York City a real voice at real, a real voice in participating in this upcoming election. Because real change begins with you. That will not. That will reimagine New York City, and that will and it will ultimately reimagine the promise of America. So let's begin talking about her as a person, talking about her as a candidate. And um, as well, ta and talking about what type of leader she's going to be if elected to New York City, if elected as your next mayor of New York City. So about Stacey. Stacey Pressman is a national touring headline, stand-up comic, and radio host, actress, and a public speaker. Stacey is a proud, lifelong native New York City resident born and raised in South Brooklyn. She started serving her community at the age of 16 as a liaison between her high school and the League of Women Voters. She later worked with the headcount as a coordinator for a successful bipartisan voter registration campaign. Stacey's compassion drove her as an, act, an animal rights activist as she developed her strong support for, criminal, for critical animal rights measures. Her, her history with overcoming an eating disorder led her to become a speaker and advocate for mental health awareness. And she has given hundreds of keynote speeches of, at colleges, military academies, and treatment centers across the country. As a radio host, public speaker, actor, and stand-up comedian, over the past 30 years, Stacy has gained invaluable insights on how to communicate and how to work with and alongside others, how to take charge of a situation and how to delegate and manage people and resources. She knows New York City's unique culture and what it brings to its residents. The devastation coronavirus has had on their city due to the incompetence of the US government's response prompted her decision to run for mayor. They, the, the closed doors of so many family businesses, the sight of the once bustling empty streets, the rise of animosity and crime in, this, in the greatest city in the universe drives her to become the person who will restore New York to its glory and bring all of us and bring all of us New Yorkers and New York itself back stronger than ever. And like that, from that from that brief description of her as a person, I, I would say she would be another great leader. She would be another great candidate for our New Yorkers. If you live in New York, the vote is actually vote for it. The letter, give her a voice to really um, give her a chance. Give her a chance to be your mayor of New York City and, um, and, and let her participate and let her, and let her be elected as your next mayor. She has, she has every characteristic and every embodiment to be a great leader. And you know what? Like what, I, like what I've learned throughout my life, no one is, and, and even in U.S. history, no one is born great. No one is born as a, as a leader. Leaders are made. People are made great. And it, and, it's, and it depends on what they do in their life that will, that, will, that will make them great, that will make them a leader. And, and, and throughout her history, just through, throughout her history, she, 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 she had overcome an eating disorder that led her to become a speaker and advocated her for mental health awareness. And that's, and that's what something, what all people are, and that's what everyone does. And, 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 and she has the embodiment of being an excellent leader. 
And you know what? New York City today, um, it, it's going through hard, hardship right now because of the, of the pandemic and um, even of the incompetent Democratic mayor and then the incompetent Democratic governor. They don't want to open New York City. They don't want to open New York. And, and, and family businesses, small businesses are hurting because of that. And she wants to, and she wants to bring the, the New York City's glory back to existence. She wants to bring it back stronger than ever. And you know what? She has faced hardship because she had, she has, she had to work really hard to overcome the eating disorder. And that's what really led her to become a speaker and advocate for mental health awareness to help make society stronger than ever, help them build, help them come back bigger than ever. She has the leadership to do that, to bring things back bigger than ever because she had to deal with a meat eating disorder, which will ultimately be to help, help her become which what made her an excellent leader, just like the people like George Washington, who was not born great, who was not born a leader. She, 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 she experienced some hardship in her life, which made her into, that could be, that would be the greatest leader in New York City, the greatest American that's going to reimagine the promise of New York for decades, and I mean generations to come. So let's, now let's talk about uh, of, so of her platform and, and some of her positions where she stands on and where she wants to take New York City. Um, Stacey Pressman's platform is based on giving power back to the people. Like that, and as mayor of New York City, Stacey will do the following. So in some of her uh, platform, public space safety. Um, she wants to promote more of a public, promote public safety by supporting police efforts to combat violent crime and protect the vulnerability and protect potentially vulnerable communities by instituting comprehensive police reform. Let's look at another one um, on animal rights. Successfully end the horse-drawn carriage industry in Manhattan and establish New York City as a no-kill animal shelter zone. Um, on homelessness, simplify and update. She wants to simplify and update zoning laws which have kept us from developing housing for lower income people and families. Additionally, the ability to build an inexpensive housing through technologies like 3D printing must be per pursued so that we can end homelessness in New York City. Um, um, as well, uh, let me see. Um, she wants to decriminalize sex work. Sex workers are forced to live with the, the dull dangers of pimps and, and arrests. Uh, and she wants to, and we can end that by letting them come out from their from from, from the underground legally. Uh, she wants to legal 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 legalize cannabis and other natural natural therapeutic substances. Um, well, let me see it. Let's see another one. Um, uh, Pressman's plan for coronavirus safety. She wants to revive New York City's culture by establishing science-based coronavirus meditations and reopening guidelines instead of instead of ha haphazard regulations crushing our city. Um, let me see. Uh, sh she wants to restore um, the, the CUNY budget through elimination of, of a tax loophole and, dem and, democratic in, and democratizing its board of trustees among other criminal, uh, among other critical reforms. Um, what's another one? Uh, mental health, people in need of mental health treatment need to get needs to get access to care without stigma, no matter their socioeconomic background. Coming out of the coronavirus crisis, this need has become even more urgent. But once again, all of this, all of this that she believes in is based on giving power back to the people of New York City. And, and like from like with there, as her as her as a leader, she wants to bring New York City back to greatness. She wants to bring it back stronger than ever because back stronger than ever than ever before that will reimagine New York City together, that will reimagine New York City for generations to come. So if you guys like her as a candidate, I will I, I will post the rest of this call. I will post her campaign website, her Twitter in the comment section below. And um, comment down below on this video and and um, what, what do you really think about her as a candidate? Do you like her? Do you actually like her as a candidate? And even if you don't like her, sign the petition. Let her be on the ballot everywhere in New York City. Help her give her a voice to all residents of New York, to all voters in New York City. And um, 
and share and, and talk about it with family and friends. So because they, you never know, your family, your friends, your relatives, your uh, your neighbors in New York City, they might want to vote for it. And like what I said before, you guys are the Big Apple. You guys are the city that never sleeps, or or you're, or should I say, the Gotham of America. You're the Big Apple of it that will that 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 has the, that has a real shot at sending a message to the two party duopoly, at sending a message to them, and this and say that you guys better get your acts together and, and start representing the people again or else we're going to give another party a chance we're going to give the stacy pressman a chance we're going to give the libertarian party a chance we're going to give the green party a party a chance we're going to give different parties we're going to vote you guys you, we're going to vote the republicans we're going to vote the democrats out and we're going to give different parties a chance because you know what real change begins with you you New Yorkers, you guys are the Big Apple. You guys can show us how much of the Big Apple you are, because you know what? Every everyone in New York City has has a real shot at sending a message, at sending a powerful message that 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 power does reside to the people that will change and reimagine New York City and will ultimately reimagine the promise of America for decades to come. And just talk about her as a candidate, comment, and talk about her as a candidate. What do you think, we'll think about her as a candidate? Would it be someone, would it be you, if you guys live in New York? I, I sure don't. I, I, wish I wish I did a little bit. Um, but I, I know at some point I will visit New York City. Um, talk about her as a candidate. Uh, would, would it be someone you're interested in voting for? But even if, like what I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. Um, just, just sign the petition. Get, give more of your local residents in New York City a real voice. Uh, um, let me see. Give her a real voice on November second, 2021. This on uh, this November. Give them, give every resident a choice because everyone matters. All voters matter everywhere because everyone, like like what I said before, has the power to, to bring real change to New York City. And, and to America for decades to come. So sign the petition and talk about her as a candidate. Talk talk about her platform. Talk about her as a person. And you know what? Like what I said before, um, she was she she would make a great leader. She would make a great leader to New York City. And and once again, don't forget to, don't forget to actually participate in the Google form as well that I will be using in episode eight of my Fixing American Democracy series. Because I want to get, I, I, I just want more people to respond. And like what I said before in the beginning of this video, um, get more and more people to participate in this response. Get your family, your relatives, or get your friends to participate in this Google form. Because real change begins begins with us. Like what I've been doing with, with promoting these third party candidates, like Stacey Pressman, of the Libertarian as the Libertarian nominee to run for mayor of New York City. Because everyone has has great ideas. Everyone has a great everyone is everyone has great ideas everyone has great solutions on cracking down on the major issues of our country's time of, of, of and even uh, and even in our states or cities time because everyone should have the power like what I, I like what the founders said of what they created for our constitution it means it's not simply just majority or minority government it's everyone everyone has a shot at governance everyone has a shot at everyone has a shot to to live a life that they want but everyone has a shot to, that that everyone has a shot at fixing the major problems of our time fixing the major problems that are most salient to them on the ideas that are most salient to them so um and as well don't forget to actually um talk about her as a candidate and um tell me uh, give me give me any other third party candidates or independent candidates that that are not that that you guys want me to promote in this series on this channel because you never know I might actually um um I might promote them on this channel so uh, tell me about tell me the other third party independent candidates on this channel because like I already said before real change begins with us real the real power is is residing in us to bring that change together because we are because we will reimagine this great country even greater than ever before but don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to like and subscribe um and and until next time guys this is a young centrist and i am out